Now we're on page 103, and this is exercise 38. And um, we look at this, and the heart rate here is uh, approximately 40. We can, um, we can measure that out. And uh, here's a QRSA falls uh, close to a dark line. So the heart rate here is 300, 150, 175, 60, 50, 43, 37. So 40 is about bang on. Uh, P waves are present and upright and consistent throughout, so the P wave morphology is consistent there. And the PR interval is 0.16 second. The QRS is actually narrow. It's um, 0.1, less than 0.12 second. Now you notice that um, uh, you know here's the baseline and here's the J point. So the ST segment is elevated above the baseline, and it's got this kind of weird, uh, you know, asymmetrically inverted T wave. But again. T wave doesn't play a role in rhythm interpretation. Just you know, keep that in mind, All right? So um, uh, we have a narrow QRS complex. We have a ratio of one to one. Uh, we have the rhythm, which is regular. So you know, we have P waves. We have narrow QRS. We have uh, a one to one ratio. The only thing abnormal here is this heart rate of 40. So basically, what we have is a sinus bradycardia with a heart rate of 40.